Hey guys, I'm Rob with Paintworks. I want to uh, explain a couple things to you that we hear commonly across some of the internet boards and some questions that we get from uh, people like yourself that are spraying products for the first time or you've really been spraying a few months. One of the common questions we get is why is my paint spraying so poorly when it's cold outside? Well the answer is very simple. The product itself is thickened up. Um, Ideally, you need to have the product at a room temperature somewhere between 55, 60 at the very lowest, all the way up to about 80. There are some uh, some very good uh, PDFs out there and documents that tell you ideal spraying conditions and how you need to adjust your style for spraying. Uh, they're more geared towards automotive paint, but in this scenario, you're going to treat it just like that. So I'm going to show you two different products, um, not really products here, but as an example of what what is the fundamental difference between it? Now, I'm using your typical maple syrup that you can buy at Walmart, but this is a great example of how temperature can really change things. So here we have uh, more room temperature maple syrup, and here we have colder maple syrup, which is going to mimic what you guys are feeling uh, in the wintertime in the north and the midwest and certain areas. Uh, this is about 40 degrees, and this is about 70 degrees, 65. So as you can see, uh, let me go ahead and pull this up to the camera. If you see here, see the viscosity of this, how it's nice and fluid and moving, and you see the viscosity of, of this one, it's very slow moving. I don't know if you can see that, I'm hoping you can, but um, this gives you an idea as far as viscosity. Now let's go ahead and do a quick pour. This is the, the more room temperature product, so I'm going to move it up a little bit more. This is probably going to be easier for you guys to see. So as you can see how it pours nice and evenly. This is going to be the same way that your paints are going to pour, whether it be Cerakote, Duracote, KG Gun Coat, what have you. It's going to pour nice and even. Now, as you can see, look on the inside. You have a little bit residual left in the cup. Uh, this Again, this is maple syrup, so it's just going to mimic it, but this is a little more extreme example. Now let's go to the cold product. You can see, remember, now this is very thick, now let's watch it pour. Look at that. And you see it pours very slowly and it just doesn't want to come off, come out very well. Now also you have a little bit more residual here on the sides as you can see and it's incredibly slow to move. So one thing to remember again make sure that your paint is at room temperature or at least a little bit warmer. You want to be in that uh, 60 to 75 degree range. Uh, generally speaking, we try to use our paints right around 70 to 75. Anything over that, uh, we try to avoid, uh, specifically when the air temperature here in Phoenix is at 110, we try to avoid spraying. So we'll generally spray later in the evenings or the nighttime when the air temperatures drop down to the 90 degree range and our shop is in the, uh, in the high 70s, low 80s. Uh, that's when we get our best results. Remember, keep that temperature on the product at a reasonable room temperature. Too hot, too cold, it's going to impact your spraying. Your sweet spot, again, is somewhere between 65 and 85 degrees. That's where, ideally, you're going to want to spray. Higher humidity, you're going to have a little bit of a different spray temperature. Um, lower humidity, uh, you're also going to have a different spray temperature. So humidity in your environment, everything plays into role uh, when it comes down to spraying. Just remember that. There's some key tips. Have a good one.